So it's 2024, and we want to talk about emergence profile around dental implants. And this is a hot topic. It's been a hot topic for a number of years, but it seems to be a hot topic right now because people are talking about the emergence profile more than they've ever talked about it. And one of the things that I think that they get confused is this concept of, I want to be able to control my emergence profile, which is a very important premise, right? We all want to control our emergence profile. And there's kind of this belief that the only way to control your emergence profile is with a custom above it. And then I show people that's not true. You can use a stock hybrid tie base and a monolithic ceramic, like say zirconia, on top of that and have the exact same emergence profile as a stock abutment and a porcelain on top of that. And, and, and people are like, what, how do you do that? Well, the, the hybrid tie base, the lip of the hybrid tie base is very thin and your, your ceramic is going to sit on top of that, which means that your ceramic profile coming off of the, the abutment, which is basically at the top of the platform or the concomitant with the top of the implant, it begins at the implant. It gives you total control of how you emerge off that implant, okay? So it doesn't require a custom abutment to have a custom profile. You can get a custom profile with a stock abutment and a crown, okay? So that's, that's the first thing that is really hard for folks to understand, but once they get it, they go, oh, wow, I may have been spending a lot of money on going down the, down the path of doing a custom abutment and then a crown versus a stock abutment and a crown, okay? So because both of those solutions can give you a custom emergence profile. The second thing people talk about is, well, I want to be able to polish it. Well, why can't you polish both of those solutions? You can polish a crown coming out of the sulcus the same way as you polish a custom abutment coming out of a sulcus. So if you want a highly polished emergence profile, then make a highly polished pro a profile. You don't need to have a custom solution in order to do that. And third, you don't have to have a lab in your office to do this. You just have to give clear direction to your laboratory on how you want your solutions made. So you can tell them, I want a stock hybrid tie base. I want a monolithic zirconia solution. And I want the gingival third to be highly polished. And you'll have the solution you're looking for. And it will save you money. And with that extra money, you can either pass it on to your patients or keep it and then have a holiday party with it. But you have the opportunity with that extra resources to do what you think is right with it. So you could decrease your cost to the community and offer services at a lower rate. So you could do whatever you want with it, but it gives you power to be smart because if you're doing custom, you're paying more because custom costs more than stock. It's been another episode of Implants Made Simple. I'm Dr. Robert Stanley, the smile engineer, helping you re-engineer your practice every day.